Hello, welcome. Let's provide answer to this question under the revision of calculus one, limit of a function. This one came under WASI 2010, question number 10. We have to find the limit of the function 2x squared minus x minus 1, all divided by 3x squared plus x minus 4, as the values of x tend to 1. This is the limit as x approaches what? 1. So we just have to put in the values of x as 1. So 1 here will be, uh, I think that will be 2 minus 1 minus 1. This is going to be 0 in the numerator. Then when I put 1 here, this is going to be 3, right? This is going to be 1, this is going to be 4. So 0 divided by 0 in the indeterminate. So we have to reduce the numerator and the denominator once more to the simplest form. And we can see this is a quadratic uh, expression. So what do we do? We are going to perform the factorization of a quadratic term. which has a number in front. So what do we do? We use it to multiply this to get our negative 2, 1, negative times 2, negative 2. We are looking for the factors of negative 2. When you add, you get a negative 1. So that simply means that the two factors is going to be minus 2 and 1. When I add, I get back that negative 1. So per substitution of it, let's put them together. So it means that the limit as your x is approaching 1 is going to be, here will be 2x squared minus 2x, this is positive, x minus 1 in the numerator, right? Then let's come to this place. This is also 3 times 4. That will give us 12, but negative 12 because of this negative. Factors of negative 12, when you add, you get 1. And those factors, 1 must be a negative number. So you can have 3 and 4, but negative. Let's see. If this is negative, I will need a negative value. So let's put a negative there. When I multiply this, I get back my 12. When I add that, I get a positive 1. So maintaining my 3x squared minus 3x plus 4 minus 4 becomes the expression in the denominator. So what do we do next? We can factorize. Looking at it, if I pick the first two, the common factor is going to be, okay, let's see, we have our limit, x is still approaching to 1. Common factor here will be 2x into bracket. Dividing this gives you the value of x alone, then minus 1. Common factor here will still be 1, x minus 1, then divided by, common factor will be 3x, dividing this will give you only x, then dividing this will give you 1, so we have that. Common factor here, this is supposed to be 4x minus 4. So if I pick the common factor as 4, right? Then I'll be left with x if I divide, minus 1 if I divide. So let's still maintain our limit. We could have just gotten the answer without going through all this long process using the shortcut, but let's expand. So this is having the same thing here. So I'll be having x minus 1 as a common factor dividing to give you 2x plus 1. Then common factor will also be x minus 1. Dividing this give you 3x. Dividing this plus 4. So in the actual sense, this is what we are looking for. You could have done it in the short, shortcut method. Without going through all this process, it is still accepted. Alright, I can see x minus 1, x minus 1. So they can easily cancel out. So I'll be having the limit. As x is still approaching 1, this and this cancel. So I'm left with 2x plus 1, 3x plus 4. So now I can put in the value of x here. And that will be 2, 1, plus 1, 
3, 1 plus 4. What do I get? Uh, I guess I'll be having the value of 2 plus 1, 3, 3 plus 4, 7. So the value of this as x is approaching or 10 to 1 will give us the value as 3 out of 7. I'm sure you follow to the beginning, from the beginning to the end. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and comment. Bye-bye.